Today we're at the long-term cover crop study uh, at the Ashland Bottoms Farm, part of the agronomy department at Kansas State University. And today we're collecting profile soil samples. This study has been in place for 15 years. Originally it was started as a wheat, sorghum, soybean, three-year crop rotation with cover crops following winter wheat. We have now switched to uh, replace the sorghum with corn. So what you're seeing today is corn stalks from last year's uh, corn uh, crop that was grown. And we're collecting profile soil samples to look at carbon stalks. So how have the, the cover crops that are in the crop rotation affected the accumulation of carbon? in this, this project. Uh, we're also looking at other nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So how do the interaction of the cover crops, the corn uh, in this case, and then the we've got a nitrogen rate study in here, how do those all interact to, you know, a both affect the, the nutrients that are used during the cropping season, but then also what is left in the, in the soil profile. So we're collecting cores down to two feet to really be able to characterize what's happening at the near surface, and then six to 12 inches and 12 to 24 inches to understand where the nitrogen, uh, any residual nitrogen is moving in this project. Uh, one of the things that we found, we sampled this, these set of plots about six years ago. Uh, we found that we had, uh, you know, we had phosphorus uh, and potassium stratification. And so we want to understand with an additional two cycles of that crop rotation, how has that phosphorus stratification changed? You know, how, you know, understanding, you know, how the phosphorus is moving, you know, are we seeing an increase in accumulation at the surface over time, will help inform phosphorus management decisions moving forward. Out of all of this research, it goes to understanding how can we maximize the efficient use of fertilizers such as nitrogen and phosphorus, and how do we adjust the management decisions when we have cover crops in the rotation to maximize the efficient use of those nutrients while also maximizing the profitability of farm operations. So if we can find cover crops that allow us to produce some of our own nitrogen, such as legume cover crops, uh, that may present an opportunity where we can reduce our nitrogen rates, but understanding where phosphorus is in the soil profile how you know the entire cropping system including the cover crops are affecting the phosphorus dynamics may be another opportunity that we can inform our phosphorus management decisions and 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 again it gets to you know for the producer how do we maximize profitability and and while balancing with the need to um, you know protect the the environment as a whole